Welcome to Flow Into Consciousness. This uh, today in Sawyer, it's seven o'clock in the morning here, and it's a beautiful morning in uh, Mallorca. So let's get straight into. We're going to focus on a little bit balancing and transitions in balancing once we've done our sun salutations and a few of the standard postures. Uh, remember, do what you can, modify if you need to, and uh, yeah, just work with it over the next seven days. And notice how your body and the transitions develop and your neuromuscular uh, communication, the, the communication system inside the body will develop and you become much, much more stable and fluid in the, in the mind. Let's come to child's pose. Toes together, knees nice and wide. <clears throat> Drop your forehead down to the mat. Yeah, just let the spine lengthen, let the shoulders soften, let the hips just relax down towards the heel. Ah, yeah. Nice, and from there, let's make our way into downward facing dog. So we can straight up, press back, up and down into down dog. Remember, the first down dog, you just move around the mat a little bit, just feeling into the body. It's more about just awakening, preparing the body for the sun salutation. Yeah, nice, and then from there, we walk our hands back. Ragdoll. We grab the elbows and we swing from side to side, lengthening out the tissue in the back of the body. You look to hear the ocean, it's the subtlety of the ocean in the background there. Nice, so wherever you are in the world, it's uh, just about finding the space or the time, the work, to grow your mat out and practice. Squat into Malasana. Yeah, the mind will come up with many reasons and excuses not to. But you just roll the mat out and by the time you're in your second sun salutation, you're starting to find that flow, that rhythm for the practice. Very yeah, nice. And from here, slide the hands forward, lumbering cat. Yeah, that we relax our belly, remember. Your shoulders are soft and through the belly. The back of the body kind of compresses. Yeah, yeah, then we just bring some motion in. That toes, chin comes in, come forward again. Let's call this a lumbering cat. And all the way back to the pouncy. Forward into the lumbering cat. And then back to the pouncy cat. Mm. Yeah, a couple more times just to get the body warmed up. Spine moving. Beautiful. Nice, so we tuck toes, downward facing dog, soft eyes, listen to the sound of the breath, like it's an ocean moving in the back. Good, take a full inhalation, exhale, and lift the heels, bend the knees slightly, and then step or walk to fall at the front of the mat, lengthen out the spine. And then pull forward as you bow your head down. Inhale, reach the arms high. Samasa Titi hands down. And a couple more. Inhale, reach to the top. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, walk back. High plank to low plank. You can come to the floor. Cobra or up dog. I'm just taking the cobra here. And then back through downward facing dog. Just remember to modify the practice if you're practicing early in the morning. What is you a little bit stiffer? You just be mindful of that. Take a breath in, exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front, and to the halfway lift, exhale. Breathing in, rise up, high mountain. Samasi Titi hands back down to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Step back, walk back. Breathe in, up dog with cobra. We're going to pull up dog now. And all the way back to the downward facing dog. Yeah, you can do a couple more of them if you want to. We're just going to move into the sun bees. Take a breath in. 
exhale. The heels bend the knees, step or jump forward on the inhale. Exhale back. Inhale, reach up. Samasakisi, hands back down to the side. Bend the knees in Tatasana. Step forward. Halfway left. Low plank. Inhale. Downward facing dog, right foot forward. Warrior one. Chaturanga, exhale. It's all about just slow rhythm here. Breathe in. Breathing out. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, low plank. Breathing in. And breathing back out. Mm. Finding your own pace. Remember we meet you in down dog. Finding that rhythm of the body. Take a breath in. Exhale. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or jump forward on the inhale. Exhale back. Uttakasana. Samasakiti. Uttakasana. Fold forward. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Low plank. Breathing in. Downward dog, breathing out. Right foot, warrior one, inhale. Low plank, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, left foot comes through. Warrior one. Chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. And then back through down dog. The eyes are soft and steady, the ears are opened and listening to the breath. And I have one more breath, inhale, exhale, the heels bend the knees, step jump forward, inhale, exhale bow, Utkatasana. Last round, do Katasana. Four forward. Halfway left. Low plank. Breathe in. Breathing our right foot to warrior one, but it's a And then open up warrior two this time. Reverse warrior. Vinyasa, cartwheel two. Breathe in. Breathing out. Left foot comes through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Inhale. Cartwheel, high plank. Low plank. Breathing in. Breathing back out. Beautiful. Bring your feet together. Right leg high. Bend your knee. Lift your knee high. Scorpion your knee. Lift your left heel. Knee to chest. Tiger curl. Crescent lunge. Step it through. Reach the arms high. Steady the gaze. Extend the elbows. Feel into it. Pull the right hip back. Press the left hip forward. Take a breath. Warrior two. Stretch the mark, steady the eyes over the finger. Stay connected to your breath if possible. Nice hands to your heart. Skandasana. High Skandasana. Or low Skandasana. Just be mindful of your knees when you come into Skandasana. Good, we push off the back foot. Reaching warrior. Nice hand comes down. Left arm up and over. Can you see the inside of the foot or the outside? Gaze to the palm. Round your back foot. Lengthen the whole left side of your body. 
easy twist, left hand down, right hand up. Warrior two again, back foot flat, all the way through. Front leg straightens, turn the toes, interlace your hands, breathe in. Go forward, straddle, fold. Remember, you can bring your hands to the floor. If it's too much, turn the hands behind your back. Soft thighs, lengthen out the spine. Keep the feet grounded. Beautiful. Nice, ground your feet again, back up. Nice, release your hands, triangle. That's it, you can shorten stand slightly if you need to. Reach forward, hand comes down, gaze to the upper hand. Stretch your mat, feel the breath. You can look to the ground if you need to. Nice, just keep the eyes steady wherever they are. Reach your upper hand forward. Right, bend the front knee, easy twist again. Drop the back knee into side plank. Modified with the knee down. Grab the big toe. All the way here. You can also keep a hold of the knee if you need to. Then stick on the toes. This is a great one of the hip. Just behind you, dance the bridge. Gaze at the fingers of the right hand. Press your hips high. So breath in. Vinyasa. All the way through. Up dog, back into down dog, deck inside, left foot to the sky, bend the knee open, tiger curl, present lunge, move to the breath, don't harden the eyes, and stay present in the body, so breath in, warrior two, soft thigh, Stretch the mat, feel the breath. Mm, Skandasana hands to heart. You can shorten the stance slightly. High Skandasana or low Skandasana. Round the heel down. Switch to warrior. Make side angle, hand down, arm up and through. Soft thighs, turn the fingers round the back foot. Left down high. Warrior two again. Leg straight, turn to the side. So there's number three this time, so if this here, or if that's too much, grab our elbow. Breathe in, and then fold forward. Knee down. Head down. Beautiful. Just feeling into the body here. Feet grounding. Eyes softening. And ground the feet, come back up to standing. Arms reach out. Turn the front foot forward. Back foot turns in slightly. Reach, triangle pose. Knees high or low. Set, keep lifting your heart to the sky. Keep grounding your back foot down into the air. You're peeling the front of the right hip. Up towards the sky. Three breaths and then reach forward. Easy twist. Right hand down, left hand up. Nice drop the back knee, grab the foot. Yeah, a little wasp there. And all the way up. Feeling it, breathe in, push the right hand away from you. Three, two, and then foot behind you. Drop thighs, deep breath. Vinyasa. Dog. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, nice. Let's move into our balancing here now. Feet together. Right leg high, bend the knee open. Knee to the chin. Present lunge. Oh. All the way up. In present lunge, you go to arrowhead. Nice. Eel arms, left arm under. Little back bend. A couple of little breaths here, press the hips forward as you hug the elbows and press the palms. So come forward now, eagle, left leg up and over, cross it. You can wrap it round or just any variation you want to take. Elbows hug, soft eyes, 
And he says, do what you can, take your breath in, standing split. Somehow you make your way to standing split. Step by the head, pull the head down, extend your left leg high. Amazing, good. Now halfway left, half moon, left hand high, keep your eyes steady, and keep the breath flowing. Option to grab the upper foot. I was just bringing my eyes to the ground here to keep it steady. Okay, three, two, and one. Nice, I release the leg. Both hands down, extend my left leg back, and then just step back, high plank, low plank. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, left leg to the sky, bend the knee, keep flowing. Knees to chest, pleasant lunge for the inhale. Arrow head on the exhale. Eagle arms, right arm under. Breathe in, up and back. Nice. Take a breath or two. Work it into forward with the arms. Float the back leg, keep the eyes steady to one point. Elbows the height of the shoulders if possible. Very, do what you can. You can always take your toes down here. Breathe in, standing split. Release the arms, hands come down, leg comes up. Please do what you can. Bow the head, even if you're down here, it's okay. If you're up there a little further, go for it. Just whatever your body is going to go to. Halfway lift, left hand out, right hand up, half moon. Gaze to the ground here, and gaze up high. Nice. Option to grab the foot, Shapasana. Breathe it in. Step three, two, and then both hands down. Lengthen out the leg, step back. High plank, low plank. Breathe in. Good. Second round into the hip here. Right leg high, bend the knee. Knee to chin tiger. Pleasant lunge, stepping through. Bring your hands to your heart. Good. Stock pose, left knee high. And then flex the toes down here. the knee or the big toe, extend the leg, ever feel right, three, two, and then one, leg to come out to the side, keep your arm out to balance, keep your toes and knees in each other, beautiful, back to centre, nice, knee high, and then extend the foot, Just lean into it, three, Plane pose. It's pretty tricky here. Three. Extend in. Two. Hands down, step back. Remember, do what you can. If you fall out five times, it's all good. Just do what you can. And through the seven days of doing this, you will absolutely progress. Left leg to the high, bend the knee open. Knee to chin tiger. Present lunge on the inhale, hands to heart on the exhale, stop pose on the inhale, open hip balance on the exhale. Couple of breaths, you can hold as long as you want to. You can even stay here. Nice, come back up, hand to wheel, keep the eyes steady is key. I've got a lot of moving water in front of me. <laughs> Just to keep my eyes on a rock. Set three, two, you can hold as long as you want here. Leg out to the side, keep the eye steady on that one point. Focus, concentration, beautiful back to center. You can keep your legs straight, you can bend your knee like me. Hands to the waist, extend and then extend your leg whatever degree you can. Point the toes, spread your toes, three, two, one, your plane. Eyes steady on one point. Yeah. Extending the knees 
spiral the right knee up. Three, two, and then step back. High plank, low plank. Fantastic for ankle, knee, and hip stability. And then breathe out all the way back. Last round here. Okay, we do the dancer. So right leg high, bend the knee open. Knee to your chin. Step it through, drop the back knee down, interlace your thumbs for low crescent lunge, arms go high, beautiful, come back up to the hips, left heel to butt, lunge down again on the exhale, inhale up again, heel closer, go back down, nice, drop the back toes down, pants the heart, back knee on the floor, start the pose again on the exhale. Dancer's pose, right hand high, grab the foot, knees together, kick back, dance. Soft eye, to your ears or listen to the breath. Concentrate, just go to your edge without overdoing. Beautiful. Soft pose again, hands to heart. Tree pose this time first. Heel comes in, do what you can, interlace. Reach high, breathe long, slow, deep. Your L N E, long, slow, deep. <laughs> Beautiful. Hands back to heart. Good. You come into airplane or warrior your three legs here. You reach your hands forward, thumbs point up. Extend the fingers and toes, back toes away from you. Three, two, hands to the mat. Yes, do what you can. They're challenging, challenging poses, but there's a place for everyone to win. Down dog, feet together, inhale the left leg, scorpion tail, tiger curl, drop the back knee, interlace thumbs, low crescent lunge, hips come back up, heel to butt, lunge again. Back up again, heel closer, toes and feel a little bit cramped there. Good, drop the knees down, hands to heart, back knee up. Start pose on the inhale. Nice, dancer's pose. Knees together, kick back. And breathe, stay steady, stay within the breath if you're still breathing. down, reaching high, elbows hug, arm bones back, tailbone long, around the tail. Really good, hands back to heart, knee to chest to start, and then warrior three, hands can stay at the heart, but of course we can reach forward. So, uh -oh. Good, extending, breathing three, Two, then yes, Lowering down, upper dog, downward facing dog. Really getting a soft slip, push up a little bit of hips, drop the knees, sit on the heels, and go back, or on a block, or sit between the heels. And go to whatever degree you can here, or further if that's acceptable. For you and then breathe, the body open, flowing. Mm, there's a nice little um, lunge there and also a uh, dancer's pose which opens up the spine nicely for this posture. Right, and then come back up. Nice, if you wanted to take the back bend deeper, you could go into a wheel or a bridge or a camel pose from there. I'm not going to for the video, but you can go there, it's a perfect time to go there. Good, press back. Nice, and then from there bend the knees, sit up through. Beautiful, half pigeon. Leg comes back here, or it can stay up there. Nice, and then breathe, pigeon. Little hip 
sofa. Feel the breath. Thank you. In this posture you can see you had a bit longer, a really nice way to wind down. This is the evening. Come back up, switch sides. And then pass down. Every degree you can come to a new step. So you can even put a little blanket under the left thigh here and under here. Ideally you've got it flat on the floor though. For me I prefer it that way. You can just adjust the back hip. Legs. Nice, come back up again. Legs forward. Good. Knee comes down, get the foot across, and then just bend that knee, spin around. Center, switch sides, left knee in, get across, bend the left leg, and then twist round to the left side. Beautiful. Such a great time, 7 o'clock in the morning to practice. It's so beautiful. That's, I normally practice in between sort of 4.30 and, and 7. But not always, sometimes it's later in the day, sometimes I don't even get a chance to practice. And maybe just, it's just my meditation or I can do that day. But I usually get a practice in every day, even if it's just, you know, 15, 20 minutes or half an hour like this. Release your legs. Feet together or you can have the width of the mat. Sit bones back, so just move the sit bones back a little bit or fleshy part of the buttocks. And then you fold forward just to bow down. Head just drop to head down. Take it whatever range you've got it to. If you're up here and you're struggling, you just bend your knees, remember. Nice. Back up, hands behind. Press your hips high. Keep the head here. If it feels okay, you can put the head back. Shavasana. Lie down, close your eyes. Remember, please keep the Shavasana. Where at least three minutes but ideally five to ten minutes would be amazing if you're feeling really tired or that so just go for a bit longer shavasana relax your body well, let go of the conditioned thinking conversations we have in our head yeah, just let go of that give yourself some space between your ears in your bones. Notice how everything balances itself out. Call it homeostasis. Call it back to homeostasis. Please stay longer here. I'm just doing it shorter just for the video, the purpose of the video. Good. If you're ready, you come up to a comfortable seat. to your heart, so you bow to the thumbs, namaste, Woo. thank you very much, flow into consciousness, a practice for a daily moving the body, creating concentration in the mind, becoming more aware of the senses rather than being a slave to the senses, so that in our senses what you hear, what you see, what you taste, what you touch and what you smell. We're becoming more aware of them than, than being sort of a slave to them or them being unconscious. If you start on that, uh, your life will change. Share it, practice. Namaste. Thank you.